Welcome, welcome. I'm Penn, and in this tutorial, we're going to be covering a small little dude, the idol, the run. So let's get started. This first layer is the sword layer. You can see I have the sword and the two hands. The next frame is the head, and then we have the body, which is a cloak and some shoulder pads. That you could separate the shoulder pads, but I think we'll leave them together. And of course, leg one and leg two. And then on the back is the back. It just gives them a little more character. This file, I will post this file somewhere. The link will be in the description, probably on itch. You can download for free and follow along. So you'll have everything. You'll have the palette, which is the Apollo palette. You can search that up on Lostpick and download it, or just grab this file and the palette will be with it. So let's start. I know in the guide, I said I usually start with the attack, but since this is pre-planned, and everything i want to start with the idle and run go through those first the idle is a constant motion the animation is always constant there's no extreme keyframes or any that stand out they all look like the this frame right here just different variations. So I made a little chart of the four most common animation motions. And the first one is constant motion. And this little timeline graph, you can see it's just the same motion, same spacing. And that's usually used in animations like idols. So let's start the idol animation. I personally do, you could say three key frames. They will all look fairly identical, but the difference is we'll reference the head height is one will be high, one will be low, and one will be in the middle. So let's go ahead and quickly animate a loop that would make those three frames look good. So we'll say this is the middle one here, and then we'll go new frame. We'll say the head is high, we'll go new frame, and we'll move this one one, two. Does that look like an idle animation? Not really, because everything else isn't moving. But I want to focus on getting the motion first. And that's, if we refer to the guide, is breakdown of the animation is keyframes, which we are tackling, and then focusing on the flow, getting the timing. So that's what we're doing now. And we're just going to use the head to do that. So we're going from the mid frame to the high frame to the low frame. So what's missing is it's jumping from the high frame to the low frame. So to fix that, we can easily copy this mid frame and put it in between them and let's see how that goes and now it looks more constant there's not a big jump and that's that's what we're aiming for is this kind of constant motion so now we go mid high mid low and then it goes back to mid so now the looping of this head seems pretty good I'm gonna change the frame rate to 75 now what we can do from here is we could animate this as a four frame idle but that's not as common for this size of a character I think around eight frames would be good and that will give us an opportunity to do the secondary motions like the bag and maybe some sway in the cloak right here a little tiny bit and maybe some the sword following the head movement and the body so to get a frames we could duplicate it but it looks essentially the same so i'm not going to do that in control z and i'm actually going to just duplicate each frame by itself so now there will be two mid heads two high two mid heads again and then two low so now it's slower and hence the slower frame rate than which will just make everything flow a little bit nicer in the end. But now we have more kind of leverage to move around some other body parts. Let's go ahead and move the body. And essentially, we're just going to be moving when the head goes up. The body will take a frame to move up as well. So on the fourth frame, the head goes up on the third frame, but the body will go up on the fourth frame. So now we'll move the body up. And then on the fifth frame, the body will stay up and the head will go down. And on the sixth frame, the head will also go down. And then as the head goes down again on the seventh frame, the body will follow on the eight and then the body will go up. The body will still be down. So now we're back on the first frame, but we're going to make sure the body is staying down. And then the body comes up on the second frame. So if we split these up, the body is always coming up on the second frame of each of these key frames. So the mid, the high, the mid, the low. And the body is coming up on the following frame. Now you can see in the preview here, over here that the uh, movement is looking more like an idol and it hasn't taken this long. I'll play it over here. 
Not bad. So now we can either pick the sword or the bag and do the same, but have it follow her leg in its own way. So let's start with the sword, which will be similar to the body. And the body's not done. We could still add some secondary motion to the flow of the cape. We can make the shoulders bounce a little bit. Maybe we don't have enough space. Maybe on 12 frames we could do that. But I want to just focus on eight right now. So let's move to the sword layer and body goes up on the second frame and we could make the sword go up as well so let's test that out but now we're basically just copying the body on all these frames and you can a quick way to do that since we know we want to copy is see the pick a spot here say okay there's one blue pixel here so let's just line up this on every frame since we're matching the body and we'll just see how that looks and it looks okay looking at the preview i'll play it here but we could make it better so let's try having the sword leg just a little tiny bit. They'll say this, the body goes down and let's have the sword leg just a little bit, comes down, hits the bottom and then the sword, because it's a tiny bit heavier, hits the ground here. And then takes a bit to come up, not so quick. Now it's jumping back to its original position and it legs, goes down. And now you can see over here in the preview, if you haven't already looked, is it looks like it has a little more weight than the body. Since it's kind of like the weapon itself is like a secondary, it's reacting because the body's moving. So now we have a little more weight in that sword and that looks pretty good. Again, we might not be done with the sword, but we have the timing and the flow right. We have the, we're focusing on the flow, getting the timing right. And that's what we've done. So now we can just focus on the last kind of item, which is the bag. And this one will be close to the sword. So let's just go ahead and do that same technique where we just follow the sword. Let's we'll say the bag, the sword is low here. And we'll say this is the frame we want to follow, or was it this one here? So now we know we can reference this little pixel here, but let's just try to make that same. So now we know we can bring this up and we got this blank pixel here. And we'll just do that quickly. We'll go through all the frames and we'll line that. Up. And that should give us a pretty good idea of what we want to do with this bag. And it looks pretty good. I think we could do some minor adjustments there and we can also leave it as is and it would be fine. But let's add a little bit more weight to the bag than the sword. So now sword's going up. Let's on frame two, let's make the bag like just a bit and then it pops up here and then let's make it bounce a little higher and see how that looks and then it comes on down and now it just it doesn't match the sword too much and all we did was make it lag a little bit towards the end and then kind of peaks a little more than the other items see here there's a big gap so let's just bring this one down and then this one down a bit and see how that looks looks a little better but let's move it up one more and just compare that might be too much bounce but i think i like a little bit more so we'll keep it like that for now we'll save it take a water break and now if we go to the guide i feel we have the the flow and the timing pretty good we're happy with it we can start adding vfx which we probably won't do for idle in most cases you could add if you have a character with say it's flowing with energy some kind of static electricity or something flowing you could add that but this little dude won't have anything with that so now we can skip that and go to details and secondary animations and that's like capes and bags and hair and we already did the bag since we were in kind of the flow but we can add some emotion to the cape and we could even give some to the clothing here on the legs to make it not look so stiff and we could even give some movement in the sword maybe it's a, a flimsier sword but that's three and we could even test out the shoulders and we can clean up some imperfections under his neck you can see some pixels that weren't fully drawn underneath we can clean up the I'm super grateful to have today's video sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't already know, Skillshare is the largest, and I mean the largest online community for creatives. It has everything. Classes like art and animation. It even has pixel art courses, blender courses, and all sorts of game dev courses. Skillshare can help you take your career, skills, hobbies, passions to the next level. I've now done quite a few blender courses through Skillshare by Southern Shoddy, and I've made huge, insane improvements. I love how easy it is is to track your progress and redo older parts. I highly recommend Skillshare, and in fact, the first 500 people to use my link will receive one month free, so you can try it out, see if it's something you like, while supporting the channel and leveling up your skills. I wanna thank Skillshare so much for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the 
Let's start with the, the cape or the tarp, whatever he's wearing. And we know he's going up and we just want to sway it a little bit to the left and then a little bit to the right. And we have eight frames to, to play with. So we'll say this is the starting point and then the next four frames or three frames, we'll say we'll do one where it's neutral and this is the neutral position. Then we'll do one, two, three frames to the left and then the fifth frame will, will be a neutral as well or coming back and then we'll do one, two, three frames to the right and then the neutral. So there won't be much movement, but we'll see what we can do. So let's just move, let's move this whole piece to the left and then we'll move two more and then this frame will be coming back and the neutral frame, perhaps we won't do the neutral, We'll just skip all the way to the right, but we're just gonna do this little chunk here and then coming back and then maybe these two are lagging to the neutral. Maybe we'll do more of a chunk and this one's lagging to the neutral. And now you can see there's a little more movement in that cape here and it's looking a lot better. This will be covered up by the sword quite a bit, but you can see the little bits dangling here look pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that now and move on to the next thing. And we can do some kind of movement in this leg here and that's the first leg and it's just gonna be you could call it sub pixeling which I don't think is the correct term but it will look like that in the end and basically I'm gonna at its highest point this leg's gonna be stretched out and then when it comes low pixels are gonna be down a bit so now we know we want what we want to do is have it pixels closer to the bottom of the leg when the head is at its lowest point I'm gonna go ahead and add one pixel there and one here and then maybe even erase this one up here and then do the same for this eighth frame and then on the first frame it's when the head is in the mid now it's gonna start going back into the position so I'm gonna I'm gonna erase one there and then I'm gonna keep this pixel here so that one's erased then this one comes back which it did and then I'm gonna erase here and then on the high frames it's gonna which is five and six I believe or no the high frames is three and four it's gonna go even higher so I'm gonna delete that one which should be enough and then it comes back down so it adds it again and then it adds all of them fairly quickly which we don't want so I'm gonna add one here and then it's gonna erase pixel there and it doesn't look great but it gives it a little more kind of movement in that leg area and we don't need to worry about leg too since it's hidden most of the time but it looks overall pretty good and we can just go in oh I added two here so let's go ahead and add one there and then another one comes and then the third one and that also comes below and maybe we can make this one go a tad lower and then have it come up and I think that looks pretty good so the last thing we can do here is tackle the sword and to give that some love we can test out a few things first thing can be a simple kind of sway you'll have the sword lag a bit and maybe it lags right here when it comes up so I'm just gonna chop a little bit off and then it's gonna start going back into the normal position but the end is still swaying so what I did was move this whole section right here and then move to frame three and I move this section and then frame four maybe we'll just keep that like that and it comes up and then as the sword goes down we're gonna do the opposite but have go upwards and we'll see how that looks now and it makes the sword look more flimsy it's not as solid but it's a nice little touch for a cartoonish more cartoonish I think it looks good in most pixel style games as well it gives a little more life to that area but if you prefer not to you can easily just not animate that and lastly let's clean up underneath so let's turn off the head and the bag is there so let's just mainly clean up the body which I think we can just add this clean up these blue pixels and if we do that throughout all of it it should clean up a lot of those random pixels that are showing this is something you should prep beforehand but I jumped into it a bit quicker than I thought I would so let's clean up all that let's turn on the head and the bag again just turn off the head so now we have the neck and the bag itself and the head and if we play it it looks a little bit cleaner and I think the idol looks good and I think we can wrap that up that was about 25 minutes and next we can jump into the run cycles